What up, players? Wombot's tail up in this mud. Check it out. I've got two hands down here. A Noblar ninja over here. And a camera set up right over here. So I'm going to try out a new um, method of shooting my Warboss tutorials. And I want you to let me know what you think. I um, have to say thank you to my brother for picking up this tripod. It's a tiny tripod that fits on my desk. So I just had to clear up a little bit of space on my desk. I don't have to um, worry about a huge honking thing next to me that there really isn't any room for in my current hobby space. Um, just, you know, with how packed space is uh, where, where I am right now. So um, let me know what you think. I love this little model. I think it has so much character and it's really cool. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, my friends, let us embark on this brave new journey of awesome painting together. So I've got my little Noblar, Noblar Ninja here, Hitoshi, Hitoshi! And um, we're gonna start painting him up. The first thing I did was I spray painted, well, first thing I based, I based the uh, base with gravel, and then I spray painted the entire model with a uh, gray primer. And because it's gray and his little ninja outfit is going to be really more black, the first thing we're going to do is take some chaos black and paint his ninja bodysuit. So here we go. Now you don't have to worry too much about the bindings around his, his, uh, his forearms. Because we are going to be painting those in a different color, but like his shirt and who? You see that? Yeah. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this new camera angle thing. So I like, keep one eye on what's on my monitor and the other on the figure. Awesome, this is so awesome. Okay, yeah, so this is my first official painting tutorial using this new setup. So I want you to let me know what you think. Uh, already I feel like it's leaps and bounds better than the old style just because you can actually see me painting. So, right on. Okay, so the next color that we're going to paint is actually going to be um, the um, the bindings around his wrists and around the actual staff so for that we've got we've got citadel foundation paints astronomic on gray so you don't want to be too thick but at the same time since this is just the base color what I've found is it's okay to get a good amount. Oh, sorry about it. Sorry about that. Get a good amount of it on there and then just spread it around and then dab off any excess that you have onto, say, like a napkin. See that a little bit? Sorry about my lamp. See if I can adjust that just a tad bit as well. Yeah, there we go. So let's get the top of the staff as well. Oh, I was so stoked when my brother showed this to me and he was like, hey dude, look, you don't have to worry about it taking too much space. It's a tiny little tripod and it should be very cool. So yeah, paint the wrappings around the little guy's forearms as well. And it's okay if you get some on his skin because in the next step we're going to get to the skin color. Okay, and um, yeah, I think the feet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and paint the feet. Um, the little booties that he's wearing at the bottom of his leggings, some chaos black too. Okay, 
So, uh, before we get to skin, let's get to the staff. That's gonna be Calvin Brown. Citadel Foundation paint Calvin Brown. The reason we're doing this is because I also want to get started on the base work for my ogres. Um, the base, I paint the base in the following steps. And most of them are in browns. And I'm progressively lighter so that um, they're not too like washed out. Like if you go from, if you do like lots of grays, like if you're base coating, you'll notice my um, undead vampire count stuff is predominantly gray and I find that gets a little washed out. So I'm gonna have to go back and fix some of that. But for the first step, we're gonna use carried and granite. Oops. For the base and we're just going to cover the whole base in that color. <clears throat> and what this is also going to do is if you have multiple colors for your base, basing material, then the successive layers of paint all kind of work together to keep the um, to keep the basing material sticking together, I tend to notice, especially if you use larger grain um, basing material, like ballast, larger size, sizes of ballast or uh, dirt material, then um, they tend not to stick as easily. There's lots of air between the, the little pebbles, so the more paint you get in there, the more, uh, I guess, gap filling the easier it is for this stuff to stick together. Okay, so there you go, carried in granite on all the base work. And we just did Calvin Brown on the staff. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the skin of the model, of the little uh, Nablar. We're gonna paint the skin, so his face, and I think his arms and his hands, not his feet though, but you can see where his, his skin is sticking out, we're going to paint that catechin green, which looks like that. A nice thin layer, which means that if you get some paint on your brush, just dab off the majority of it so that you're working with not too much, not too much paint on the brush. I also just noticed that our little guy is wearing wearing a head covering like most of the other Noblars in the range. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to color that something. And um, as you might have seen from my other Noblar videos, I tend to go with the red and yellow, like the color of Talibiklin. But since these are Noblars that are attached to the man-eaters, I'm going to go with a different color. Oops. I'm so sorry, I keep getting out of focus whole opposite angle thing of, of the, um, you know, painting to where the camera is pointing is kind of throwing me off for a loop. There you go. Paint his big floppy knoblar ears, which I think are like the cutest, cutest part of a knoblar are his ears. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting about to nine minutes right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of a pause. I'm gonna pause the video and reset it because um, my camera won't film larger than 11 minute chunks. I'm gonna upload this part and then when we get back, I'm going to finish up with the washes and with the highlights. Okay, and uh, just as a side note, while we're getting ready for the second part of this video. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna paint his little head covering in um, black to match his, his little ninja outfit. So I'm gonna paint that black and I'm also gonna paint the basing material once that's dry. I'm gonna paint that in Calvin Brown 
a dry brush. I'm gonna dry brush it, so trying not to get too heavy of that reddish brown color, but just a little bit on the tip tops. And again, that's cow thin brown. Okay, so we'll see you in a second. Hey gang, okay, so we're gonna get finished with our model now that we've let it dry for a little bit. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to wash the bow staff, the bandages, and the uh, wrapping around the bow staff with Bad Dab Black. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna really darken the all the colors and add a really nice shading to the, um, to the model. So we're gonna apply that. As you can see, it really gets into the recesses. It brings out these shadows. Um, you're just gonna need to make sure that when you go into highlight, that you uh, leave them in the shadows, leave the wash in, in the darker shadows, and that you pick out only the raised areas if possible. You can see where I tried to shave down the mold line that came with this fine cast piece. Okay, so after that, the next thing we're going to do is while we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to highlight the Knobblar's skin. And we're going to highlight the skin with a mixture of Catechin Green and Codex Gray, which looks like this. So we're going to go for a one-to-one -one mix. Oops. And put some on my little palette. I'm going to go for kind of an even mixture of this color, like I said, and then you want to go for where the lights naturally hit upper part of the model. So like I can see maybe his left ear, top part of his little, uh, of his left arm, as well as the ridge of his nose. Then you want to wipe off most of the paint so that you don't obscure the base color of that catechin green. Really simple. If this guy had teeth, I would be painting them right now in denim stone. But since he doesn't, it kind of takes that one step for us. Sorry, I'm moving some of this wash over. 
mean, the last step, if you want to, this is really optional, but if you want to shade his skin a little bit more, then you could do that with a mixture of fortress gray and catechin green, and just really painting the, the uh, toppermost of the poppermost of the edges. But I'm not gonna do that, because I think that this is pretty, pretty decent right there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, while I'm still waiting for the wash to dry, I'm gonna go back and work on the base by adding on a dry brush of Camry Brown. It's looking like that. Get, my, get a different brush for that. So there we go. And the top level of color that we're gonna add to the base, which we can do right now since it's just a light dry brush, is the Nep Stone. So this is a dry brush, which means that all of these levels are really dry brushes. And that basically means that you take the paint on your brush and you wipe off the majority, majority of it onto a napkin and then that way you only get the top parts of the basing material. There we go. Okay, by then, at this point, the wash should be dry on the rest of your model, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the, um, or we're gonna highlight back up the bandages and the staff with the same colors that we used before. So astronomic on gray for the bandages and for the wrapping around the staff and the actual staff with Calton Brown. sister in the background with her baby Aiden. my 
my model in frame and all that. Okay, there we go. And for the bandages on the Nablar's hands, I'm just gonna give that more of a dry brush effect. There we go. As well as the one over here. His right arm. Okay. So that is pretty much it for my model. What I'm going to do now is I am going to um, base coat the, or I'm going to uh, add the basing material, the grass and the flock to the base, and I'm going to paint the rim in Camry Brown. And then uh, we're just about at 11 minutes, so I'm going to stop the video here and we'll wrap up in the last part of the video. Alright players, and there you have it, our finished little Noblar ninja. Hitoshi. He is, he is nimble and agile and um, he is learned in the martial arts of the far east of Nippon and stuff. So. I, um, I'm really happy with the way he turned out. I'm really happy with the way that my new painting setup works. I can see what I'm doing on the monitor. Um, just wish my camera would automatically focus and adjust and I wouldn't have to adjust to it. But it's a great old camera. It's not even that old, just a couple of years. And it's really clear, shoots in high depth. Um, I just gotta make sure that I am mindful and aware of where the model is and where the camera can focus. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. This, like I said, it was a little uh, prototype for um, me doing my painting tutorials. Hopefully, they'll get even better as time goes by. And let me know if you have any questions. And um, I guess that's it. So, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.